Like those mechanics are really good. Look at it. Blew my mind. I think that's pretty awesome. Good morning, we are back in Hiroshima, back in the apartment, feels good. Finally at the hotel, and now uh, Kevin and I are on our way to the grocery store this morning, go get some groceries, some stuff for breakfast, cook up some breakfast, um, some lunch, and today is our off day, so we get to just chill. The weather in Okinawa was really nice, nice and warm and hot, and Hiroshima is uh, cold. Tomorrow we start practice, and this weekend, March 6th, is our first uh, preseason games, and then from then on, preseason games until March 26th. size of these things so in Japan they have these special fruits that you can buy at the grocery stores that for some reasons the way they're grown or something like that they cost a lot right so these two giant apples were five bucks so just these two uh, not sure what's special about them I'm gonna have to look that up but if you go in you can buy a single at some stores a single avocado that's giant grown specially in a special way and it's sometimes thirty dollars so decided to try these out today five bucks for both of these giant apples Going to Costco. Going to Costco. The cool thing about Costco is that it's right by the field. So I'm just walking there now to catch a taxi back to the hotel. I just made my way from Costco. Supply for now that we're back. Got a bunch of stuff. <laughs> I think in the nights I'm gonna be making hamburgers. Ah, yeah, my favorite fruit, pineapple. Cut it up, nice and fresh. And then got avocados, squashed, squashed my bread, buttermilk bread, avocados that are hard as rocks. And we got our meats and ice cream and cheeses and tortillas. It's good now I can finally cook my own meals. Now that we're back in Hiroshima, we are allowed to go out. Kevin and I are going to go head downtown and grab some dinner tonight for the first time in a month. We're thinking probably uh, some Mexican place, try it out, see how it is. So we're excited, finally. Get out and do stuff. There's a regional pancake house. Good morning. It is now March 6th and today starts preseason games. So today we are playing uh, the Swallows for two games. Then we got an off day and then we go to Henshin to play the Tigers. So it's nice to be able to play games now in that uh, big stadium, normal stadium. Grass on the infield. So they're kind of treating it like games now. I don't know if I'm going to be pitching today or not. So we'll see what the game situations look like and um, yeah, preseason. So something crazy that I found out yesterday. I had no idea it even existed. But in Japan, there is a professional women's baseball league. And it's a full-on professional league. They make, I think it's at a high school, a minimum, they make 
for an 80 game season is like $20,000, which is unbelievable compared to the minor league pay in the States. And then the highest paying woman was getting around $100,000, something like that. The league started 2009 and it blew my mind. Yes, I had no idea this even existed. And the way I found out about it was actually one of the women's team's pitches throughout the first pitch at our game yesterday. And that's when I first found out about it. And now I've been so intrigued. I've been watching video and seeing this league that I'd never heard of before, or even it's never been spoken about in the States at least. And, uh, so I've been looking at highlights <clears throat> and it's pretty crazy how their mechanics are exactly the same as the men's mechanics. I mean, they throw really good. <laughs> First two games, preseason in the books. Uh, we won both games against Swallows and we had fans in the stands. About 16,000, half 50% capacity around there, something like that. Um, and it was a little weird. It was, you know, that feeling you got when you first went to a big league stadium and there was a huge crowd and everything, and you saw the field. That was kind of the feeling I got when I was walked out and stood in the dugout and saw the fans cheering. It was you know, a bit of a shock after not having them for so long. It was spring training and seeing the stadium kind of full. So that was pretty awesome seeing the fans in the stands again. And then tomorrow we travel to Kobe to play Hanshin Tigers for two games. I'm about the middle relief, long relief guy right now so I pitched multiple innings so I got two innings Tigers so excited to go on the bullet train tomorrow again it's honestly the best form of transportation for long distance in the world it's unbelievable how amazing these bullet trains are and how easy it is compared to flying it's like, I hate flying after going on these bullet trains it's unbelievable oh yeah about the bullpens in the stadiums <clears throat> In our league, there's only one stadium that has ball pens on the field, and that's the Swallows place. Other than that, all the ball pens are inside. So we sit in the ball pen and warm up, and then you walk out. And for us, we walk out the ball pen and have to walk through the cafeteria, through the dugout to get on the field. So it's definitely tough because you're sitting inside, there's, you don't hear the noise of the crowd or the atmosphere of what's going on in the game. You watch it on TV, but it's way different. And then you warm up in the pen and stuff, and then you walk out on the field, and there's just this roaring noise of fans and everyone watching, and you don't really get to get used to that or feel the atmosphere and see stuff like that you know, before you pitch. It's kind of warm up, and then as you run out there, you experience it for the first time. So it's very different. So this made my post-game meal. It's five o'clock, so I'm starving. And it's a lot of carbs, but pff, am I worried about carbs? No, I'm skinny as hell. All right, so we got pitas and hummus, or if you're from South Africa, you say hummus. And then uh, my beautiful creation burger, look at this. I've become pretty good at making a nice Just like that, we're off. We are flying, huh? All right, we are in Kobe. Bags, we'll put my bag and everything delivered already before we got you. And then... Yes, it, uh, yeah. And that's the train station. 
right there that we just walked from. We just went boop, right in. So we got the Tigers, Henshin Tigers, next two games.